Hey everybody, Tom here, Freedom Finders. Thank you for tuning in. Today's video is gonna be slightly different. I have recently partnered with Renogy Corporation and what they have done for me is sent me one of their brand spanking new with new technology, semi-solid state LifePo 4 batteries. And this is going to go into, I haven't decided yet, either my van build or it is going to go into this cabin which I built for my wife down by our river here. All right, guys, heading over to my setup here. Here is the beast that Renogy sent me, 240 amp hour solid state lithium iron phosphate. Super, super cool. Now this bad boy says solid state. I believe they're semi-solid state. Um, in fact, I know they are after reading through the uh, handy dandy little manual there. Anyway, I am going to do the first thing that anybody should do and pull those clamps off. Plug this into my T9 connector and use an actual lithium battery charger. You have to use a lithium charger or something that will charge at 14.3 volts. Reason I'm not using clamps is I really don't trust them. Um, I don't know how charged this thing is at the moment, but I'm going to charge it up to 100 like I do every single battery that I get. All right, we're going to put this bad boy on the charger and we'll go from there. Okay guys, we have our terminals hooked up. The red wire is going to the red terminal. The black wire, yes, that is a black wire. If you can see it, <laughs> there we go. It's going to the black terminal or the negative and they are clearly marked positive and negative. There's our T9 connector in which we unplugged the clamps from and plugged our eyelets in for a better connection. And there is a flashing green light. Uh, there's a little kind of generic indicator on there or menu if you will but i never pay attention to that because on the front of the battery if you look here let me zoom in on this legend or charge status we have a blink blinking green light so uh that means that we are charging second from the bottom there we are charging and the battery is at less than 90 percent full once we get a full on charge, it's gonna be a solid green light. If the battery were discharged any more or less than 80%, we would have a blinking yellow or blinking red light. Awesome. So we're gonna let this battery charge up to 100% before we do anything at all with it, which is what you should do with every single lithium battery that you get. Okay now, what's it made of? This thing has a fully metallic and fully waterproof outer casing. That does not mean you should go dunk it in the water. Just rest assured if your holding tank should burst or external water gets in there, you spill something on it, you're going to be just fine. And now the good stuff. These semi-solid state battery cells are composed of a gel-like substance as opposed to a liquid, meaning they are not only more stable, but they also reduce the chance of battery swelling. It also reduces the chance of cell separation, and it reduces the chance of shrinkage. And none of us like shrinkage. Most importantly, it reduces the chance of a thermal runaway. If you don't know what thermal runaway is, here is the definition. Thermal runaway is an uncontrollable self-heating chain reaction inside a battery cell where heat generation exceeds heat dissipation, causing rapidly rising temperatures, gas venting, and the potential for fire or explosion. This cycle starts when a trigger like overcharging or internal damage causes a chemical reaction that releases more heat, further increasing temperatures, triggering more reactions. This can quickly spread to adjacent cells in a battery pack, causing a propagation of the event. In layman's terms, this is going to burn your stuff down, so sign me up for a way safer option. Renogy is so confident in the build quality of these bad boys that they offer a very robust warranty. They also have a 6,000 charge cycle lifespan. Yep, 6,000, which is about double what most LifePo4 batteries are currently. You'll always know what's going on with your Renogy components via the Renogy app and Bluetooth connectivity, or if you have a Wi-Fi connection, keep tabs on your equipment from anywhere. These are equipped with a 120 watt self-heating function to ensure battery charging at low temperatures. The continuous charge and discharge current of over 200 amps is absolutely something I'm looking forward to in an off-grid or overlanding battery. Not to mention the size of these bad boys. You can stash them anywhere, no matter what size your rig is. And lastly, designed with a sturdy internal structure for RV use, it includes more than 60 protections and alarms through the smart battery management system. 
Before you go, drop a comment and tell me, should this battery go in the off-grid cabin or should I wire it into my Sprinter setup? Your vote decides and make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss the install and future real-world testing of this bad boy. No bench testing on my watch, real-world, all the time. Thank you, Freedom Finders out.